Hello everyone, my name is Vanya Ferromacho and I am a solution architect in the Microsoft Fast Track team. This session is to demonstrate how we can write emails in real-time marketing using conditional content. So what is conditional content after all? Uh, conditional content is one of the real-time marketing features that allows marketeers to personalize email content according to their business needs and uh, also uh, an easy way to deliver effective content. Conditional content consists in conditions and contents and their combination is called a variation. So when marketeers send any email using conditional content, Dynamics 265 Martin will evaluate what are the conditions present in the email and check in which order they should appear in the email. When the condition is satisfied, the corresponding content is included and the conditional evaluation stops. If none of the conditions are satisfied, then the default content will be used. Conditional content can be a section or an image. So basically, uh, can include text, images, buttons, uh, links, or any other element that email editor supports. When we are defining conditional access on images, we cannot include any other element than an image. So a conditional image only includes images. And a conditional section can include conditional images. So. When should a marketeer use conditional content? Um, so you should use it when you would like to use, uh, for example, different images that match the recipient interests, like, uh, for example, um, what are their favorite football team? Um, when deliver different content based on demographic information, like, for example, in which city males older than 40 years old live, for example. Um, use different languages content using the preferred language or country for, for that recipient list. Uh, and also one of the common users is within footer, where you may need to change some content depending on the recipient information, like for example, legal text or, or social links. Here, um, so now we have a, a demo where I'm going to show how we can add additional content to the email. Uh, and after the email is processed uh, by the journey, um, how can we uh, review some statistics around uh, the journey? Okay, so for the demo, um, so just open Dynamics 365 martin app and uh, go to the real-time martin uh, area and the first the first uh, step here is to create uh, uh, the email okay and define what will be the um, what will be the the conditions that we will need to have and uh, uh, what are the content in each of them so uh in the, for this demo uh, for the demo purpose um i'm going to create an email uh, about vacations um and tar targeting like uh, winter vacation summer vacation and create the conditions to allow me to send different content for different people here on the email templates, I'm not going to uh, use any, so I'm going to skip. Just going to create something very, uh, very simple with the, the, with the elements, just just for you to see the differences. So first of all, I'm going to create here uh, like title for demo email demo email for example. Oops. That. Uh, and then on the subject, I'm going to put vacation trips, reply to email, I'm going to say that it will the email for the contacts, that's it. And on email settings, just checking if everything is okay. Designation, commercial, compliance, I'm going to put a custom compliance that has all the um, needed fields already. Going to save it, and we can start to uh, build uh, the conditional, the conditional content that we need. Okay, with uh, several um, rules. So first, I'm going to. What I'm going to do is, um, I am going to create. Um, 
with basic elements. So like three columns I'm going to put here. I'm going just to delete this one. I don't need it. Um, and the first thing is uh, to create this conditional uh, content. So first of all, uh, the conditional content can be uh, created at image or uh, at section level. I mean, this for this demo, uh, I'm going to create it at section level. But uh, uh, the way that we do that, we do it in the image is exactly the same. So what? we do is we have the section or the image and then we go to this start button uh, that is exactly enable uh, conditional content as soon as we create it it will create this uh, pink bo uh, uh, um, pink border around the section or around the image and then we can create um, and then we will see the variation that we have here and we can create the conditions based on on our business let me just start to create. So I'm going to create a new condition. Uh, and like I was saying, the scenario is um, I'm going to send email around uh, vacation. So I'm going to start with uh, summer, the summer trip that uh, we, we are going to have. And I would like to send information um, information about this summer trip to the people um, that uh, um, ex the contacts that uh, um, live in Ireland for example okay so so I just need to come here make conditions on attribute and I just need to specify the uh, sp um, the specific um, uh, attribute here but before I do that just wanted to show you that uh, you can uh, specify that uh, you are using the attribute or you are using the segment membership and um, when you select the attribute you can uh, select directly from the contact uh, entity but you have triggers okay you have brand profiles you have compliance you have other tables that you can use and actually you can add more um, more tables to it so it's a, um, a panoply of information that you have available um, to create these uh, new conditions i'm going to hear to the audience like i was saying so i'm going to uh, point to uh, people that contacts that live uh, in ireland so i'm going to select a country region okay equals to ireland for example okay and then i'm going to save and this will be the summer trip <clears throat> summer trip so as you can see summer trip uh, with the condition that we just create and then for the summer trip uh, I would like to do what so I'm going to add an element here like uh, an image so I'm going to put um, a summer picture let me just choose an image from our library and have one from the beach and then uh, I'm going to put another element on the second column, like a text. Um, join, join us in this fantastic, for example, fantastic page. Uh, and here I can put like a button saying um, register. Summer registration, for example, just check here on the style, no, not on the style, on size and alignment, on, okay, and I can just uh, save. Okay, so at this moment I have, I have um, a variation okay um call it summer trip with these three elements so now i'm going to create the second one because i also want to send information about this a winter vacation so i'm going to create a second condition and call it winter vacation or winter trip to be have the same winter trip and now i would like to send contacts that uh, uh, doesn't have a zip code for example associated so just put here address one and we have one that is doesn't work okay zip postal code here and then is empty 
okay and then just save okay so what we have now is summer trip and winter trip so again like we did on summer trip with these elements i'm going to do the same for winter trip and it's exactly the same add elements going to put the image and browse library uh, i'm going to put this image from a lake okay add element here a text saying um winter camp at lake winter camp at lake for example marcus lake um and then at element i can put the same like a button saying um winter registration and save and and right now is uh, we have created uh, all the conditions um all the variations and conditions that we will need for this scenario so we are trying to um send emails to people around vacations and we will have one email with these variations summer information and winter informations uh when with the different set summer uh, emails will be sent to people that the contacts that live in ireland and winter will be uh, the ones that uh, has a, a zip code um, empty okay and then we have the, always the default so if uh, there are there is people um in my target that doesn't live in ireland or doesn't have the zip code empty they will receive the default that is just um an empty uh, an empty um an empty email okay so let me just save this okay and the next thing I would like to show you is when I'm going to preview and test, I will have here the information about uh, the first uh, condition that I have created. But um, in this scenario, I see summer, the summer information, because uh, this is the, ver the this is the condition that is on top. So if I come here to the design again, and come to the um, come to the conditional section. I can put winter on top, move up. I'm going to save it just to make sure that uh, doesn't change. And then if I go to preview and test, it will um, show winter camp and mark as soon as it loads the personalization. Okay. Okay. So the other thing that uh, we also can can do with the conditional access is when we do the preview and test, as you can see, as soon as it, it loads the personalization, it uh, shows the conditional that is on top. But if I go to edit sample data, I have some information here that I can use. So some some uh, personalized um, some customized uh, fields, company others, for example, uh, I can put here um for example some fields that i will see how it looks and i will also have conditional content section okay so i will have here the email variations so winter trip will show um will show uh, with sorry uh, will show default content summer trip and winter trip okay so default content is uh it exists for all the emails and it will be exactly like this. So I didn't specify anything for the default. So if uh, uh, there are contacts that uh, doesn't um, uh, doesn't have the condition as true, it will they will receive this uh, default content. Then I have summer trip, okay, and it will show exactly what we created for the summer trip and shows here what are the conditions for this variation. So the summer trip will be sent to contacts that uh, um, has address one country region equals to Ireland. And then the second one, uh, winter trip, it will be with the uh, zip, zip code empty, okay, and shows exactly what, what it is, okay. So now I'm going to uh, just do the save. 
and the email is going to be ready to be sent uh, and be used uh, in a journey. Okay. Uh, one of the things that uh, it's also important to um, highlight is that at any time I can come here and I can delete one of the um, the condition the condition the variation that I have created. Imagine that uh, in uh, as soon as winter ends, I don't need any more to send that, so I can just uh, delete uh, the winter trip and make sure that I remain with the summer uh, emails, summer variations. So now that uh, it is uh, ready for um, for being sent, I can go to um, to the journeys, and I can create a, a simple journey. I'm going to um, create a, a simple one journey demo. I'm going to use a segment that I have already created with the users for this um, for this demo. Um, I'm going to select the segment. Okay. Um, not this one, sorry. This one. And uh, uh, select the date. I'm going to specify that will run today or can be tomorrow. I'm going to send the output from another one because sometimes it takes a little bit. And uh, here you can just specify um, the time. So what it what this journey will use? It will be like uh, an action of sending an email, and then just specify the email that uh, uh, we just created. It was here this demo email to show exactly what is this. If you don't remember or if you, or if you still want to see um, some information, you can just come here to the arrows and it will show exactly the three um, the three variations that we have here, the conditionals. So we have the winter here, we have the summer, and then we have the default that was an empty um, body. And that's it. So I'm going to save it and publish. So I have another journey here while it is publishing. I have another journey and we can see the rest from, from that point. Okay, so this is publishing and when we reach the time, it will uh, send the emails for the for the three people that I have, uh, three contacts that I have in that segment. But if I'm coming there, um, I'm ca I can go to the other one, demo journey. So it's it has a similar um, information that we just created here. And uh, uh, I can I can show you uh, there the statistics around the customer journey that are that is sending um, an email with uh, conditional content. Okay, so let me just wait for this to open so I can I can show you. Just force here. Try to see if it. Okay. Okay. Let me just. Okay. So this is the other one, and as you can see, it has sent. It's a similar one. It's and it's sending a um, similar email and sent three times the email. So I can come here on the send email. It has some analytics here saying that he sent three emails, three were delivered, two were open, and unique clicks. But uh, I have this option here: deliver interaction details, and this is what I wanted to show you. As soon as I come here in the in the journey, I can see all the information about uh, the, send, the emails that were sent. But I have here the variations, a third uh, option here that I will see what was sent. So based on the segment that I created, I created a segment with three contacts. One was uh, a contact that lived um, in Ireland. Then the second one was a contact that didn't have a zip code um, configured. So the zip code field was 
empty. And the other one, it was someone that lived in Germany, had so, had zip code. So it was going, he, uh, that contact was going to receive the, the default uh, content. So here's what uh, we will see in the variation. So we have summer trip was delivered one time, winter trip one time, and default content one time. So this obviously depends on the segment uh, membership, but uh, here you it's the, the right spot so you can understand how many um, emails were sent with a specific variation. Okay, And if you uh, would like to review the layout, you can just select summer trip and then you will see uh, the information that was sent to to, um, to your contacts using that um, that conditional contact. Okay, and, and this was what uh, I wanted to show you. Uh, I hope you have um, think that was useful and very interesting. Uh, and start using the um, con emails, real-time marketing emails with conditional content. Thank you very much for um, attending this, this session. Thank you.